She was a very hands-on mom as far as what I could see. 31-year-old Katoria Hutto was known as Tori by her closest neighbor. I'm just a person that was just trying to make it through life the best way that she could. Saying Tori seemed overwhelmed at times, but nothing to hint about a drive to the Lake Jessup Bridge diving off. Her body quickly recovered. Then a well-being check found her five-year-old twins, Ahmad and Ava Jackson, both dead in their beds. Investigators reaching out to Tori's mother. The mom did relate to us that she has struggled throughout her lifetime with depression, but there's been nothing to indicate that she may act out with this level of violence uh, towards her children. The sheriff pointed out that at times tragedies occur after a buildup of other issues, but he said not at all in this case. There is no history here. There is no history of allegations of neglect or abuse or anything like that. But the unknown is what killed the children. While a gun and bullets were found inside the home, the children were not shot. There were no signs of trauma. It looked like two innocent five-year-old children sleeping. The medical examiner will be vital for finding a cause of death. The children went to a charter school which released this statement. The entire UCP community is deeply saddened by the sudden passing of two of our Seminole County Schools kindergarten students and feel shocked by the circumstances. Mental health is very serious. A neighbor down the street, also a single mom, knows how difficult it can be. Having kids by yourself, a single mother, it's very, very hard. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.